Hello again guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we'll learn how to export and import private keys from your MetaMask wallet. This is super, super important to know if you want to back up your wallet or maybe restore a wallet. So here today we're gonna learn exactly step by step how to do it and what it means. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post interesting educational videos about DeFi, crypto, MetaMask, blockchains, yield farming, stable coins, everything. You can get notified and become DeFi masters here with me. Also consider joining the Discord community. If you have any questions to me, you can DM me directly there or just ask. We have a, an amazing growing community that's gonna learn from each other and evolve. And we're gonna share different strategies for farming, for stable coins, interesting projects and NFTs. Make sure to join in the link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start by exporting your private key. You have your MetaMask wallet and this wallet, let's say you have the secret uh, monomic free seed phrase, but you have different accounts. Every account basically has its own private and public key. You can see right here that in this wallet I have three different accounts, account one, account two, and another account. Now every one of them has private key and let's say we want to export the private key, the key that basically lets you sign transaction on behalf of account two. If it's sending tokens, sending Ether, sending BNB, this key is basically gives you full control over this account. Uh, even uh, unstacking from contracts, sending tokens, everything you can just imagine is getting giving you full control. And if you want to export the private key and use it maybe in our mobile phone or somewhere else, or just export to back it up for you know dark days when our MetaMask wallet will not work or something will happen to the computer, we basically gonna go to the MetaMask and then switch here to account two. Now, while we are in account two, we're gonna click this kind of three dots here and click on account details. Now, this is the account details. This is the name, by the way, you can change it to whatever you want, whatever, okay? And now the alias of the wallet is changed. This is the private, this is the public key and the QR that represent the, the public key if you want to basically um, send it to someone. This is not sensitive information. This is just the public key that can be used to track this wallet or to send money or tokens to this wallet, but it doesn't give any access to the wallet. Though, this kind of export private key button here is sensitive because if you're gonna click here, you will have to provide your MetaMask password. And after you do, look what happens here. Just one moment, all right. This is your private key. This key, this is how you export it. This key is being used to sign transactions. So anyone he, who has access to this key basically controls this wallet and he can send all the tokens to his own wallet that he controls or unstake it from some contacts. So this is very, very sensitive. Make sure you keep it in a safe place and you don't let anyone uh, be exposed to this kind of key. That's how you bag it up. You can copy it, save it in a store way. I will have another video of how I'm handling my security of my crypto wallets and what's the best practic practices because I'm cybersecurity professional professional in my uh, previous experience also right now but now I dedicate my time to crypto and blockchain because this is the subject that excites me the most the most so if you want to learn about securing your assets from a cybersecurity specialist and DeFi crypto specialist make sure to subscribe so you will get notified when I will post this kind of videos so this is the simple tutorial how to export your private key and what it basically means thank you so much for watching again consider subscribing clicking the notification button smash that like button and join the discord community and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below i will be more than happy to help you out with your issues thank you so much and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye